Cerebrum, Broadman areas. Cerebral cortex is divided into 52 cytoarchitectural areas called Broadman areas. Frontal lobe. It is divided into primary motor area, premotor area, frontal eye field, motor speech area, also known as Broca's area, prefrontal cortex, prefrontal association area, primary motor area, area number four. Location is precentral gyrus and paracentral lobule. Functions. Controls voluntary activity of opposite half of body. Primary motor control of the corticospinal tract. Contains the motor homunculus, which is a topographic representation of body parts, in precentral gyrus of frontal lobe. Body parts of higher sensitivity or fine motor skills are represented in larger areas than others. Arranged medially to laterally as follows. Toes, ankle, knee, hip, trunk, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hand, little finger, to thumb, eye, facial expression, mouth, chin, tongue, swallowing. Premotor area, area number six. Location, portion of precentral gyrus that are not occupied by area four and posterior part of superior and middle frontal gyri. Functions, contributes to the cortical spinal tract. Aids in control of axial and proximal muscles. Informs the primary motor cortex before execution of movements. Frontal eye field. Area number 6, 8. Location is the posterior part of middle frontal gyrus. Functions are that it controls voluntary saccadic eye movements. Stimulation causes contralateral conjugate deviation of the eyes. Motor speech area, also known as Broca's area. Area number 44, 45. Location is pars triangularis and pars opercularis connected to Wernicke's area via the arcuate fasciculus. Functions are speech production. Prefrontal cortex, also known as prefrontal association area. Contain Broadman areas 8 to 11, 13, 24, 25, 32, and 45 to 47. Location, anterior part of frontal lobe. Functions are emotions, concentration, and attention. Parietal lobe. It is divided into primary sensory area, sensory association area, and Wernicke's area, also known as sensory speech area. Primary sensory area is area number 3, 1, 2. Location, postcentral gyrus and paracentral lobule. Functions are that it receives input from the ventral posterior nuclei of the thalamus and interprets touch, pain, temperature, and proprioceptive impulses. Contains the sensory homunculus, which is a topographic representation of body parts in postcentral gyrus of parietal lobe. Body parts of higher sensitivity or fine motor skills are represented in larger areas than others, arranged medially to laterally as follows. Genitals, toes, feet, leg, hip, trunk, neck, head, shoulder, arm, elbow, forearm wrist, hand, little finger to thumb, eye, nose, face, lips, oral cavity, tongue, pharynx, Sensory association area, area number 5, 7. Location is between sensory and visual area. Functions, stereognosis and sensory speech. Wernicke's area, also known as sensory speech area. Area number 22, 39, 40. Location is the temporal lobe and inferior part of parietal lobe. Functions, Part of the auditory association cortex. Broadman area 22. Connected to Broca area via the arcuate fasciculus. Speech comprehension interpretation of language through visual and auditory input. Occipital lobe. 
It is divided into primary visual area and secondary visual area. Primary visual area is area number 17. Location in and around post calcarine sulcus. Functions receives input from the lateral geniculate body via optic radiations, also known as visual radiations, geniculocalcarine tract. Perception and reception of visual impressions. Secondary visual area, area number 18, 19. Location, striate area. Functions, integrates visual properties such as color, position in space, illusory contours. Correlates the visual impulses with past memory to recognize objects. Temporal lobe. It consists of primary auditory area, secondary auditory area. Primary auditory area is area number 41, 42. Location is posterior part of superior temporal gyrus. Functions. Receives input from the medial geniculate body. Perception and reception of auditory impressions. Secondary auditory area. Area number 22. Location is rest of superior temporal gyrus. Functions. Correlates the auditory impulses with past memory and identifies the sounds. Homunculus is a topographic representation of body parts in a particular gyrus. Motor homunculus is a topographic representation of body parts in precentral gyrus of frontal lobe. Sensory homunculus is a topographic representation of body parts in postcentral gyrus of the parietal lobe. Clinical correlation. Lesions in the primary motor area can cause contralateral flaccid paralysis. Lesions in the premotor area can cause difficulty in performance of skilled movements. Lesions in the supplementary motor area can cause bilateral flexor hypotonia. Lesions in the frontal eye field can cause the eyes to deviate to the side of lesion. Lesions in the Broca's area can cause expressive aphasia. Lesions in the prefrontal area can cause loss of social behavior. Lesions in the primary sensory area can cause contralateral loss of exoroceptive and proprioceptive senses. Lesions in the secondary association area can cause tactile agnosia or astereognosis. Lesions in the Wernicke's area can cause receptive sensory aphasia. Primary auditory area, unilateral lesion, can cause slight loss of hearing. Primary auditory area, bilateral lesion can cause complete loss of hearing. Lesion in the secondary auditory area can cause the patient to be unable to interpret the meaning of sounds. Primary visual area, unilateral lesion can cause loss of vision on opposite visual field. Primary visual area with a bilateral lesion can cause visual agnosia.